This is so cute. This is the cutest thing ever. Hey guys! Hi everyone! I hope you're blessed. Friends, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to our channel. It's been a while. I feel like I've been gone away for too long. <laughs> Forgive me, dear friends. I do think about you, you know, my YouTube family, but I hope that you're all blessed. I hope um, you're doing well and I hope God is keeping you well despite uh, the troublous times we're living in. I know that the world today there isn't much good news so I thought I'd come and share some good news with you guys. Uh, God has been working tremendously in my life and I hope he has been working also in your life but I have some good news maybe you can already tell from the title of this video <laughs> um, you know that uh, we have some good news to share but before we do that I think it's important just for us to open with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are gracious, you are kind, you are merciful, you are loving and tender, and that you wish for us blessings and joy and happiness, regardless of the circumstances that surround us in this world. Father, through examples in the scriptures and testimonies of uh, the apostles and believers and patriarchs and prophets, you have shown us, Lord, that throughout ancient history, uh, you have guided your children, you have blessed them when they have been obedient to your commands and that you have led them through the paths of righteousness. And even till this day, O oh Lord, you are still faithful in guiding your children through the paths of righteousness when we obey your commands and when we seek to do your will. So I just thank you for this testimony which we're about to share with our friends. I pray that it shall bless them and I pray that you shall do well in their lives also as they seek to obey and do your will, dear God. I ask that you give us your son Jesus in all his glory and that you bestow unto us your Holy Spirit, Lord, that we might do well to honour your name and that we might live as children of God upon this earth. We thank you, Lord, and we pray that you guide us now as we share this testimony. Guide my words, Lord, and may you be with us that we might learn from our experiences and grow as we walk with Jesus. In our Saviour's name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, so, so. <laughs> um, so, guys, God has been working in my life in many significant ways that I cannot even begin to share because I wouldn't even know where to begin. But there's this very significant step which God has led me to now that I feel I must share and that I must um, just express how gracious God has been and give him glory for he deserves it you know if there's anything that i would wish to share on this platform is how great god is and how good he is and how much he wants to guide us and to shield us from the enemy and to guide our steps and to bless us and to keep us faithful um so this very testimony that i'm about, I'm about to share with you guys is one that i never thought i would be sharing <laughs> is one that I never imagined um, would happen so quickly. Um, and yet here we are. And I am just so grateful and thankful to my Heavenly Father. Um, but yes, guys, we are engaged. Um, I am I am a wife to be. Like, who would have thought it? <laughs> um, I will be 29 this year, if anyone's wondering. And um, yeah, I never imagined that God will work this tremendously in my life and so quickly as well. I mean, if if you're watching this video and if you've been with me 
for a while, then you've known how God has transformed my life between last year and this year. Um, God has worked tremendously in my life and he has brought me from one point of test to the next and to the next. You know, different areas in my life, um, God has brought me to new changes, new progress, new truth. He has taught me step by step what he expects of me. And then he has given me strength to do what he expects of me. And um, in doing that, God has led me to a man, to a man that he has prepared for me. And um, if you know anything about my previous testimony, you would know that when I first um, began to experience a powerful conversion by God's hand, I was in a relationship. Um, but that relationship, I was convicted of my practices in that relationship as a Christian. You know, um, there were certain things I was doing in that relationship, fornication and other activities that I should not have been doing as a Christian. And so when I was convicted of that, um, I knew that relationship had to either change or come to an end. And sadly, it did come to an end. Well, I say sadly, but, you know, God has his way of working. I know God has a plan for every single one of his children. So um, his plan was not for me to remain in that relationship. And though it did hurt, you know, having to let that go at the same time, I was assured that in God's time, he would guide my steps and lead me to uh, where he wants me to be. And here we are today, <laughs> you know, um, I mean, hopefully by God's grace, my fiance and I will have a chance to share our testimony. I don't want to talk too much about how we met and about how God led us to each other, because I think that would be unfair for me to do that all by myself. <laughs> so um, by God's grace, when we have an opportunity to be together, um, um, have a good amount of time, then we will share with you guys how God has led us. And if you guys have any questions as well, this might be a good time just to ask those questions in this video in the comment section so that when we do get a chance or, you know, if God allows that, then we can answer those questions when we are both together and when we film a video about our testimony. All that being said, I just thought to put together a, a little clip of our engagement day. It was a very lovely day and although it was all done behind my back, <laughs> you know, credit to my brother and my uh, fiance, they they did a good job in just planning it and it was very simple. My fiance, he, he knows me and he knows that like big fancy proposal, not me. And um, it was a very lovely day. We went to the Birmingham Botanical Gardens. It's a city not far from where I live. The, the flowers were amazing. Um, it was a lovely day. We did have some rain, but God managed to hold the rain for us uh, for some time. And, you know, this was only a week ago, by the way. So <laughs> it's still fresh, it's still on you, and I'm still, you know, digesting it all. Through much prayer and fasting, we were assured that um, God wanted us to take the step and to move forward in faith. We didn't do rings and we're not going to do wedding rings either because we did a Bible study um, not too long ago about rings and we were convicted that God does not really want his children to adorn the outer man but rather to seek the inward adornment, you know, of meekness uh, which is in the sight of God uh, a great price. So um, we were convicted of that and my fiancé actually proposed with the Bible so this is the bible they proposed with it's got our names and he's i don't know if you guys can see I'll, I'll put a picture of what's written inside and this is basically what unites us and, and and binds our promise to each other of marriage and of commitment to each other commitment to each other and um it was just a beautiful i mean purple is my favorite color so this is like my special bible i mean <laughs> the best gift i could ever ask for uh, it's just, it's exactly, I mean, if, if I was to pick, I couldn't have picked a, be a better gift. So, um, yeah, this this is what glues us together. You know, the word of God and Christ as our saviour, this is what binds us to one another. Um, not, not a ring as such, but, you know, we do not condemn others who are choosing to use rings. I think for us, we just prefer to do things the way that God would have us do it. And it's been that way in my life that every time I've chosen to go 
God's way and to obey his uh, commands and to do things the way that he wants me to, whether it's in my diet, whether it's in my dress, whether it's in um, what I watch, what I listen to, um, all these different areas, even in my business, in my work, um, God has certain principles that he wants his children to live by. And as I've been learning and growing in the knowledge of that, so God has been leading me to more understanding and to more blessings. And I just wanted to encourage you guys that do not hesitate to obey God's word. I know it might be hard if we find ourselves loving that TV program, loving that music, loving that whatever that we love to do, you know, in the world. And God's word is convicting us to stop and to turn and to repent and to change. It can be hard and it is hard, but once we do it and once we commit fully to doing it because we know that God wants us to live, to live a life that will show his glory and that will honor him and that will be a blessing to us, then we will begin to see and understand and have a even greater relationship with Jesus. And you know, God's word says that he that is faithful in the least shall be faithful also in much so you know i just wanted to come and encourage you if you're desiring marriage or if you're just desiring to draw nearer to jesus or you just want to be more obedient to god's commands um if you are praying for these things then seek for the small things in your life that you know god has convicted you of seek to obey those little things and when we are obedient in the least he will then bless us with greater responsibilities like marriage like children um but it's a step-by-step -step process and i've had to learn that myself personally and the reason i share this testimony is just really to confirm that god's word is true that when he says he will do something he will do it he will and he does if we would just obey really it's a choice that each one has to make for themselves and I, I've come to learn that marriage is an institution that God wants to bless his children with. Marriage was created by God. Marriage is an institution that um, God joined together, man and wife. And uh, especially when he has work for us to do in these last days, he wants to unite like-minded people that will stand um, side by side in labor, you know, in the work that God has for us to do in this in this world because there are many lost souls and God is looking for young people whom he can guide by his providence to each other so they can unite in their labors to uh, bring glory to his name and also to have happiness and joy um, in each other's companionship so all that being said um, I just wanted to come and share this good news so that it might bless you because it's been a blessing. I mean, the more I contemplate how good God has been, the more I feel I owe him so much. I owe, I owe Jesus my life. And the least I can do is share this blessing and share with you guys how good God has been, that you might praise him with me, that you might glorify him with me, and that you might give your life together, you know, with me to the Lord and that he will guide your steps and um, lead you to his purposes for he's able to do that for us so I'll leave you on that note I hope that you enjoy the little clips from my engagement uh, day and like I said my fiance and I hopefully by God's grace will have an opportunity to share our testimony together um, so stay tuned for that and uh, for now uh, I just hope that you like and comment and subscribe and join us on this journey to Zion as, as we go to the land of promise together. Uh, may God guide and keep you and may his blessings be upon your life. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Stay blessed, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.